I'm Angelo, this is uh, my wife Ashley. We have a six month old, um, Andre Dominic. I'm Tyler Davenport, this is my wife Annie. Uh, we have two daughters, uh, twin girls, they're six years old, uh, April and Virginia. Uh, I'm Chance. Hi, I'm Angie. I'm Chris. Uh, and I'm Danielle. And we're the Schubers. My name is Virgil Michael Augustinelli III. I grew up Catholic for a while when I was younger and then eventually moved to an, a small Episcopal church. I went to a Catholic prep high school, shirt and a tie every day, masses quite frequently. Um, after my time in the Catholic prep school, I uh, moved away to go to college and sort of found my faith um, kind of taking a back seat, if not slipping away. I uh, grew up in a, it was a Christian home, but uh, by the time I had come along, my parents kind of drifted away from the the church and, and so I was brought up without really any exposure to, to faith or, or religion in, in any respect. Uh, I grew up in a Southern Baptist church in North Carolina, um, kind of grew up in church all my life, joined the Marine Corps uh, after college uh, and so we've, we've moved around quite a bit. Uh, we're now here uh, at the base at Pax River. Um, in South Point, uh, I think we did, well she did a lot of research uh, into churches and uh, I said okay and so we started. Uh, watching the the South Point services on on YouTube during the during the pandemic, we'd been going to the services for probably about two months or three months or so, and I had gotten to a point where everything really was resonating with me, and I really wanted to go into the next level and get a deeper understanding of of, of God and um, and Jesus. We were really eager to join a small group because we had seen how important it was in our life, um, especially the past few years with having young kids um, and just the people that had been in our small groups previously have become like family with especially our kids and our kids all being the same age and growing up together. I feel like just as a whole, I would have to say that Rooted specifically, I've, I've been a part of different small groups in the past, but Rooted specifically had such a different impact for me and I think for us together because as we went through you know and, and really dug into some difficult topics and some difficult um, hang-ups that you know we had in our group and, and specifically we, we went through a difficult time personally with a loss that we experienced right in the midst of the 10 weeks and we were able to like walk through that with the people in our group and so we honestly became like family. At the beginning when you know it was a 10 week commitment, it was a little uh, scary at first because it's like that's 10 weeks of devoting one day a week. Um, but really, I found myself looking forward to it. The, uh, the prayer experience I think for, for me was, was probably one of the biggest um, kind of eye-opening moments. Um, uh, it really kind of opened my eyes to what a, uh, what a prayer life kind of needs to be or should be. Um, and since then, I've, I've tried to, uh, to kind of take what, I've, what I learned there and um, kind of devote that a little more prayer time each day uh, in my life. From a relationship standpoint, um, it, it brought us closer together um, in faith and, and allowed us to have, to build a bond um, together and, and kind of align our compasses and our relationship and our marriage to be able to focus on God as a central point uh, of the relationship and marriage. I feel like now I'm at a point further along in my faith. I feel like my faith has been strengthened. I feel like um, I have friends that believe in God and, and it's a good thing to be around people that have a similar belief and at, at the very least people you can speak about these things with who won't judge you for it. I would say if you're on the fence about doing a small group or even participating in the Rooted program that um, you'd be surprised the amount of fulfillment that you would get out of it. And at the end of 10 weeks, you kind of would look at yourself as a different person.